Hi everyone, this is Peter Hassan. In today's video, we're going to see how to stop a command from looping in Arduino. Here's my demonstration socket. Suppose you have an LDR as input device and a LED together with the parser at the output devices. Let's say you want to turn on the LED and parser at the same time when the LDR values um, gets above 500 and then delay for some seconds and turn off the buzzer. When the LDR values gets below 500, let's say you would like to turn off the LED. But when the LDR value is maintained above 500, let's assume it's during night now, uh, then only the LED has to be high in every cycle while the command to turn on the buzzer has to be executed only once during the first cycle and then turned off. So as long as the LED value is greater than 500, only LED will be high and buzzer will be sounded only once. Let me show you the card uh, before I run the simulation. Here's my card. Uh, the two lines are just pin definitions. I have a variable val uh, which will be storing LDR readings and also I have initialized a boolean variable stopping with a true value. Uh, let, let me show you the low function. In the low function I started by reading the LDR values then I've used if statement to check uh, for LDR value whether it's greater than 500 or not. So if that is true, the LED will be turned on. But before turning on the buzzer, I've used another if statement to check for my stopping variable, whether it's true or not. So before the buzzer is turned on, the statement has to be true. As you see, if the LDR values gets above 500, LED will be turned on, and then if stopping is equal to true, buzzer will be turned on, then delay for two seconds, and then turned off. After turning off the buzzer, I have assigned a value, a new value to my uh, variable stopping, which is false. So what will happen in the second cycle of the loop function, if the LDR is still above um, 500, the stopping variable value will be false, hence the condition will not be true. So the command to turn on the browser will not be executed again. Now, let's say uh, once the value of LDR is below 500, you would like to turn off the LED only. Uh, but when the value gets above 500 again, you would like to turn on the buzzer only once again without repeating. So you can assign uh, a true value to the variable stopping again. So if the value gets uh, below 500, else will be executed and the stopping will be assigned true. So if the loop starts again, once uh, the value gets above 500, uh, this condition here will be true and the buzzer will be turned on only once. And here it will be assigned uh, another value which is false. So for the second cycle, uh, these two commands here will not be executed. Now let's see how it works. Uh, let me run the simulation. As you see, the LDR value is uh, is below uh, 500 and nothing is happening. LED is off together with the buzzer. But uh, once I increase the values to get above 500, you see, um, the buzzer is turned on only once in the first cycle and the only LED remains high. Uh, but if I reduce the value to get below uh, 500 
and then increase it again to get above 500 browser is turned on uh, once again and this is how it works uh, I think you learned how you can stop a command from loading thank you guys for watching this video I hope you, are, you will find it very very useful uh, just remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you guys I appreciate your support